guys welcome back to my channel so today if you can't tell we are doing a clean and decorate with me so i'm gonna clean up and do some valentine's day decorating i am super excited this is my first time actually decorating for valentine's day it's something i said i've wanted to do but since i've revamped my home
want to get it done. So I'm going to go ahead and clean up the dining room, putting everything back in its place or throwing it away. Whatever needed to happen is what happened um, so that we can get the dining room back to where it needed to be. As you can see, I did get the new runner. When I made the return um, for the bigger one, Target actually told me to just keep it or donate it. So that's why I still had it. Um, I love when they do that, but at the same time, I don't because it just makes me have extra stuff. So I cleaned off the lights and now I'm going to go ahead and clean off the table. And I do switch up between using glass cleaner and just a vinegar water solution. Um, it just really depends on the mood I'm in, really. Um, I try not to use that many chemicals. But lately, with everything that's going on, I've been using more and more chemicals just to make sure that the house is actually clean. Um, excuse me for chewing gum, y'all. For some reason, when I chew gum, I feel like I can be more productive and work faster. I don't know if it's the rhythm of me chewing or what, but I'm sorry that, you know, I'm chewing gum in this video. I think I was in another video too, just because, like I said, for whatever reason, mentally, it makes me feel like I can work faster. So whenever I'm working, whether I'm blogging or doing something else, I tend to chew gum. <laughs> so like I said, all of the sanding created so much dust, especially when I had to like patch up holes in the wall and sand the plaster. Oh my gosh, it was a big smoke of dust. Um, so really was excited to finally get the new bookshelf to look new again and to get these floors nice and shiny once again to have my house back. Um, I love doing these makeovers and remodeling everything, but what happens to the house in between, <laughs> I could do without. Now that the floor is all done, let's get the table decorated. And I do have a question for you guys in a bit, so please leave a comment letting me know what you think. So I got this runner off of Amazon and I think it was probably intended for like parties or like weddings or whatever, but I thought it would be something super cute. Again, I'm trying to go for a minimalist look for Valentine's even though that's really not what happened but I was trying to do something really subtle and then still end up getting the hearts and everything else um, but this is one of the first things that I got and I just thought it would be something really cute and then I remembered that I had these fake rose petals from a photo shoot that I had done before it was like hmm let me add that so the question I have is should I put a centerpiece um, I don't have anything to put there so I don't know what to put there um, so just leave a comment let me know if I should add a centerpiece and what it should be like should it be roses or something just leave a comment and let me know so like I said I was trying to go subtle with the Valentine's decor and somehow ended up not doing that um, and this banner is evidence of it but I just thought that that would be something super cute to do in a dining room when I had the old dining room I would always put banners over there on that wall and even though the walls different now I just felt like it'd be cute and I thought it came out really cute and not too cheesy so now let's go ahead and get the kitchen done I know I kind of went around because I started cleaning the kitchen first but like I said that night I got too tired so now we're gonna go ahead and just add some touches to the kitchen. Play this song, just sing along. I had mentioned that I wanted to do like a hot drink section over here in this area. Um, still not sure what to do with that. So if you have any suggestions, leave a comment 
below of how I could turn that little area into like a hot drink section and for it to really look like a hot drink section because right now it looks kind of barren <laughs> so right now I'm just gonna do like a dry fit almost of some of these decor pieces just to see how they look um, before I make them permanent with adding paint or putting pictures inside the mini frames um, just to give me an idea of what I like before it becomes a permanent picture um, and you'll see the finishing touches in a second. Alright, so here we are. We are all done and I love the way it turned out. I still think it's subtle even though it's a traditional Valentine's Day decor. Play this song, just sing along. So I hope that you enjoyed today's video and that it gave you some inspiration on what you could do in your house and still run out and grab some things even if it's last minute. I did most of my shopping at Target, Michaels, and the Dollar Tree. Yeah, so that's where I got all the things that are um, in the house that I use to decorate. So you can still find many of those items, whatever is still available that I can link, I'll link for you guys and put that in the description for you. Oh, and Amazon, yes, Amazon as well, and I'll link that for you. And with Amazon, I did use Prime, so those are items that you'll be able to get in just a day or two. If you like this video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up, and make sure that you subscribe if you are new to the channel, and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye!